Curling is a new sport which originated from Scotland. It is a game characterized by a skillful throw of rock-like objects to a target. Curling, the game with the ice and the rocks and the sweeping and the yelling. Each game starts with a handshake and a coin flip to determine who goes first. Then, two teams of four people take turns throwing 44 pound stones down a sheet of ice. The target, a 12 foot house that looks like a bullseye, just under 150 feet away. Each team throws eight rocks, and the team closest to the center after all the rocks are thrown will score the points. This process is repeated for six to ten rounds, called ends, until one team is victorious. It's just that simple. Surprisingly, unknown to billions of sport lovers around the world, including Nigeria, Colin is played by Nigerians and in Nigeria. In fact, Nigeria has been a member of World Colin Federation since 2018. She is the first and the only African country presently playing the ice sport. According to the exponent and propagator of calling in Nigeria, Mr. Daniel Damola, the body he founded and presides Nigerian Calling Federation has been striving to make the sport grow in the country. Taking it to the grassroots, we've been doing that and we continue to do that all the time. Last year, we spent bulk of our time, you know, organizing clinicals across the country, whereby youths. Well, they were all selected through this process. And also, last year also, we had clinicals for secondary schools across the country as well, whereby some youths were selected as well to represent the country, whereby we are supposed to take them to Canada, Italy, Turkey, and the U.S., and also South Korea for training. But because of the COVID issue, we couldn't actualize that goal. But in general, we've done so well in trying to, you know, uh, groom them from the own front. Mr. Damola, who hails from Undo State, but lives in Parabon, Germany, disclosed while featuring on BCS TV sport programs that this federation is building Africa's first ever dedicated calling facility in Calabar, Cross River State, in the southern part of Nigeria. He explained that the construction of the calling facility called Ice Ring is in its early stage and could be concluded by December 2021. The Undo State Bond President of Nigerian Calling Federation explained why Calabar was chosen to house the calling facility. Traditionally, ICE is meant for a cold region. Mm. There are two locations we, we scouted for, Port Accord and Cross River. Mm. But the Port Accord terrain wouldn't suit uh, the kind of uh, facility that would enable the ICE to remain so when playing. So the Calabar region was the only weather we've studied to see that, okay, this is going to fit into our plan. That's why we chose Calabar. Mm. Secondly, as well, presently in the country, you see how things are going the, concerning the issue of COVID-19. Yes, nobody has control over it, but the state was able to manage it. That shows the uniqueness of that state. Then the top plan was the security and then the tourism aspect. We all know that Cross River is the capital tourism of Nigeria. So that is the point three, again, making Cross River, Calabar, the choice of destination for coiling facility in Nigeria. The project will, upon completion, have two ice facilities, one for coiling and the other will be for ice sports, in addition to a bar and conference hall. Aside promoting the new game of coiling in Nigeria, the Nigerian Calling Federation, with about 55 professionals and nearly 900 registered callers, has also been ensuring the presence of Nigerian callers at the international level. In 2019, two Nigerian callers made history as the first African callers to feature and win a match at a world championship in Norway. The Nigerian representatives, Tijani Cole and his European wife, Susanna Cole, beat their counterparts from France.
However, Mr. Daniel Damola and his crew are not relenting. A contingent of Nigerian callers is expected to compete at an international contest in Japan later in the year. Mm. And I think uh, we have the first home-based female team that will be representing Nigeria uh, in this year's uh, championship in Faraway, Wakanai in Japan. If the COVID issue is down, uh, we have four home-based team female that we've selected for this uh, trip to represent their motherland as well. And uh, if you permit me, I could also roll out few of their names. We have Ibizo Wamat, we have Anobu Amarachi, we have uh, Deborah uh, Alemeto, and we also have Buhari uh, Alimat. So those are the people we've picked from the own front to mix with the female professional to play. Mr. Daniel Damola further hinted that the new game will be launched in your state and other southwestern Nigerian states immediately after the presently rampaging COVID-19 pandemic is abated. It is hoped that the addition of calling into Nigeria's Legion of Sports will empower more Nigerian youths, solve unemployment problems, and bring more laurels and sporting glories to Nigeria. This special report on the new game of calling is put together by Adewale Tijani and presented by Boluwaji Ogumala.